In this video, we are mastering every single cameo for Omni Man. If I miss something, let me know down below in the comment section. And if you like what you're seeing, like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps me grow in more ways than one. The camera we're going to be starting with is Jax, and let me tell you something, Jax is the definition of potential. I mean, look at the combo we cooked up in literally a few hours. That combo previously did like 347, 349, and uh, we spent no bars and still got that. Uh, we wasted that bar right there, we didn't really have to, we thought he was going to block it, so we were trying to go for like a little mid-range parry, but we get a combo off of it about like 35%, so we're not tripping too much, and we have a huge life lead. He does the exact same thing we wanted to do, we called the Jackson, and we couldn't get into the stance fast enough. If you didn't know, if you go into the little stance Omni-Man has, uh, Jax is unblockable, doesn't hit you. Uh, so that's what I was trying to set up. We're going to break that combo immediately. He's going to grab us, put us right back into the little side. And, uh, you know, right there, he's going to go for the unsafe combo launcher. But it doesn't matter. Um, we didn't really get much of a punish because he had a breaker. Um, we go for the 1-2 punish into the full combo. And uh, right here, um, this is where the real damage starts. When you get the 1-2, the most common starter, but we mess it up. Um, it does like 41% around. We're going to go for the Jax right there, as I was saying before. Um, you don't get affected if Jax goes for his unblockable. So the setup is you hit him and then you grab him out of that little thing. But they have to fall down backwards. But we're going to keep Jax out there anyways because we have such a life lead and we might as well take the round. Next up, we have Sonya. We catch him in the air with a 1 into the 1 2 full grab. And we're going to go into the air with a 1 2 launch into the Sonya with a 2 1 2 dash, 2 1 2 dash into the full 1 2 grab. That's going to give us about 40%. We could have actually gotten more. We go into the low into the Sonya into the full grab and we get the whole combo again. But we don't have Sonya. So we're going to have to stick to our regular combo. Still gets us 372, which is pretty damn good. Catch him with the forward 4 2, but he's going to break that very smart break we're gonna launch over that somehow get a weird little interaction but we catch him off the punish with a one two into the full combo into the one two sonya two one two full dash grab into the one two grab 387 very very easy he's gonna launch his full screen we're gonna go into the vulture might stance block all those projectiles out and uh we try to go for something fancy and this might actually cost us uh we go for the armor break because we thought he was gonna do the unblockable setup but he ends up messing up right here and drops it and that's when we just take the game. Alright, next up we have Cyrax. And uh, at first, I didn't think much of Cyrax. Now, we are the ones that are getting our ass up currently. But he does drop the combo into a reset. And uh, we're back on the little block pressure game. He's going to go for a really unsafe grab. And we're going to get a full combo off of this. Now, check this out. This is what Cyrax is able to do for Omni-Man. That's a very creative combo that the community came up with, and I saw it on Twitter. Uh, we catch him with a forward 4-2 forward into another full combo, into the little grab, into the Cyrax, into the 1-2 grab in the air for a 364 off of practically nothing. Catch him with the anti-air standing 1 into the 1-2 grab, into the 1-2 grab to finish it off. We're going to go for the up block right there, and he's going to break that immediately. He goes with a low, and we get caught. We go back dash into another back 1-1 one, one into a full combo again. Now there is a more optimal combo which I'll be covering very soon. But this is what we were cooking for now. Into the Cyrax again into the 1-2 and somehow the 2 whiffed. Um, we catch him with the anti-air, but we couldn't get the full combo. He's going to go for the really unsafe launcher. We're going to catch him for a full combo again into the 2-1-2, into the drop. We were trying to get a reset, actually, and he's going to uppercut and take the game off that chip damage. Now, he's going to go for the Swanton Bomb, and you can actually up-block that and get a full punish. Otherwise, it's fully safe. We get a full combo punish off of this. We could have probably gotten more damage if we started off with 2-2 instead of 1-2. And the Cyrax is going to go limp on us, and somehow we're not going to get the full damage. That happens when you call in Cyrax a little too early. And that's a mistake I kept doing. And we could have up block right there for even more damage. But we didn't want to risk it. We were already in the corner. He goes for a very unsafe uh, armored move. Trying to catch us in one of our gaps. But we catch him again with the 2-1-2. Two, two, into the full grab. And hopefully Cyrax doesn't go limp. And he does. At this point it's all about patience. And we see him get in the air. We catch him with the stance into the 2. Now this cameo at first makes you want to pluck your ears out. But if, when you get him mastered it is... This game is a lot of fun with Omni-Man. I'm the one that's in the yellow. There's a lot of Omni-Mans online, so bear with me here. We catch him with a 1-2, and this is the combo we're cooking up right now. 2-1-2 two, two, into the back dash, into the 1-2, into the Kano Knives, into the full knee combo. 363, not terrible, but it's a very good-looking combo. Um, He goes for the forward 
4-2. We go for our own forward 4-2 into the knife throw to try to obtain some sort of pressure. He doesn't know what to press, and that pressure is going to get to him. We catch him with the low into the full grab, into the full combo, but he's going to break it. We throw the Kano knives a little too early, and he's going to get the up block on us. If we threw the Kano knives a little later, we would have been actually safe on that. He's going to get the full combo, but drop it. We catch him with the anti-air into the 1, into the 1, 2, full combo grab, into the 2, 1, 2, into the round. Now he's going to jump. We're going to anti-air him again. At this point, we're just waiting for him to make a mistake. We get the full combo off of this, into the Kano drop, into the whole knee. 335 for not even an optimal combo right there, which is more of a conversion. We catch him again. He goes for an unsafe wake up. 1, 2, grab into the same little rodeo we've been doing with him the entire day. At that point, he just stopped pressing buttons and we just took the game. Next up, we got Sector, and Sector's just great with everything. I mean, there's not a single character that Sector's not good with. Um, his missiles bring so much pressure. We catch him with the grab right there. The plan is to catch him with the Sector missile on everything safe right there. We try to do that, but we whiffed, and he's going to punish us fully. Now, this is the other Sonya combo that I was talking about before. Um, it does a little more damage, a 388. I think the other one actually does more damage, although that one does look cooler. We catch him with a 1-2 into the full grab, into the 2-1-2 dash, 2-1-2 dash, 1-2 grab, into the sector deployment, and he's going to armor through that. We should have probably aimed the sector missile a little closer to us, and we're just in the stance right there. We dropped the sector missile to stop any punishes, and exactly what happens. Um, he was unsafe on that anyways, and we take the game off of that. Now, this is probably the best Omni-Man I faced, so I was trying to be really careful. He did, he makes that whole Swanton safe catches with the one two full combo and he's gonna punish us with sonia again and uh, once again very cool looking combo it doesn't do as much as the other uh, combo i showed you before he's gonna go for the optimal combo right there with the the stand kick into the little uh, swanton bomb and that's gonna do like four four forty three that's i gotta learn that combo next um uh, i wish that combo came out before i started recording the video but unfortunately, that's not how it planned out. We catch him with a 319 again. He's going to just wake up. We were trying to get a comeback in. Um, he's going to deploy the Sonya little energy ball. We're both playing it very patient, very slow. I catch him with a jump. And we're going to get full combo off of it. Now, look at this Mortal Kombat 11. Why is it lagging so much in online play? Is that just me? I have top of the notch internet and lag so much in this game. But we're trying to fight through it. And so is the other guy. He goes for an unsafe move. And at that point, it got to him and he quit the match. But that match was just way too good not to show. Unfortunately, connection had to get in the way. Next up, we got Shijinko, and we're charging Shijinko up as she's trying to zone us out. She does end up hitting Shijinko, so he's going to be out of commission for a little. We see him right there. We're going to cash him in and try to get more uh, charge on his little thing. We catch him with a little forward um, dash into the Shijinko overhead kick that starts a full combo into the 1 2 grab, into the 2 1 2 dash, into our regular BNB 345 for an overhead. And we catch him again with the overhead trying to jump. We catch him with the back dash into the back 1 1, the forward 4 1 2 grab. Shijinko's charging this entire time too. 2 1 2 dash, 2 1 2 dash, 1 2 grab, 385 for that. He's gonna catch us with his little scream. Sindel is the most annoying character to play. You cannot tell me otherwise. If you have any other annoying characters, tell me otherwise. I, I I can't see anybody more annoying than her. She goes for an overhead low setup, but it doesn't work out. We're in the air. Go for the dash into the little low poke. Go for the low starter, but it didn't work. We back up and go for the little overhead. Catch him with the jump. He's going to break it off of the overhead starter. We're charging up Shijinko right there. Catch him with the little dash into the back low profile. Into the overhead again. Into the one-two grab full combo. And that was only possible because of Shijinko's overhead. I'm not even going to lie. We probably would have lost that round without it. Next up, we got Serena. Everybody hates on Serena, and I totally see why. We catch him with the Serena back into the 1 2, into the back 1 1, into the full combo, into the grab. And now we have pretty much the best start you can ask for. We get him into a nice little 386. It doesn't do as much damage as I would like it. The Kung is gonna fire back with a little overhead into the full combo, it's gonna do about 30%. He does have Sonya, so we got to be careful with his wake up. Sonya, Goro, Scorpion, some of those cameos can make Kung Lao's wake up a full combo. We get a little ignorant right there. We were just trying to go for something cool, and that's going to pretty much bite us in our ass because he's out of the corner now uh, when we could have just finished the game. He catches us with the little dive kick up into the Sonya, but he doesn't get to convert the full thing. We catch him with a forward 4-2 into the full combo again, and Serena can't really do much when you're in the air, but we're going to try to take all of his bar. Look at his bar. We took an entire bar off of that because we put him into a grab animation right after. And right there, we catch him with a forward one into the anti-air, into the one-two grab, into the two-one-two dash, full combo, and again, 
Lag's trying to kick in, but Sony's gonna break the combo. He's gonna go for the hat. We're gonna catch him right there into the little chest bump, but we're not gonna get the brutality for whatever reason. Probably the slow-mo. I blame the slow-mo. Now we have, you know, the most common one and probably the best cameo is actually Kung Lao. Um, surprise, surprise. Kung Lao is the best cameo in the game and, uh, you know, once again, he's the best cameo for another character. He's gonna catch us with the chest bump, take round one. I kind of deleted round one mostly. It was very boring to watch. We catch him with a 2-1-2 into the air grab, into the 2-1-2 dash, into the full combo again. 378. Now, that's not optimal, but I just like the way that combo looks. We go for the 1-2 into the grab, into another combo. Now, Kung Lao can't really do much until you're in the ground. Um, uh, but 349 for that. Kung Lao is really good for setups right there, as you see right there. We go for the overhead low, and uh, Omni-Man actually jails you in into that little overhead. You can't really move. It's kind of like a frame trap, and Kung Lao's hat always kind of kicks in. It's really, really hard to avoid with Omni-Man's little swanton. We get a nice little 349 again. He's going to go for the YOLO overhead. We're going to catch him. He's going to combo break. We're going to drop the Kung Lao hat. And the Kung Lao hat is going to save us again. We're going to go for the Thunderclap and take the game. Next up, we have Scorpion. It's probably his second best cameo in the game right now. We catch him with the jump in 1-2 full combo into the Scorpion. Now, that wasn't really that optimal. We did the optimal a little on in the round. Uh, we didn't really catch him with the full uh, Scorpion Flames. And we didn't go for the full combo into the air. That's why I did less damage. He's going to catch us with the little grab. Put us into the air. We're going to jump out of it. He's going to break it. We're going to get caught with the 1, 2, 3 into the 2, 4, I believe. And uh, it doesn't matter. We're still going to get caught even though he drops it. We're going to go for the little frame data nonsense. Into the 1, 2, into the full grab. Scorpions, there are available. So we're going to use them to the extent. 2, 1, 2, full dash. 2, 1, 2, full dash. 1, 2, 3, 98. And we can still actually get to 40% off of that right there we catch him with the scorpion overhead and from the low so it's a little hard to block even if you block the low at least for casual players and right there that gets us a nice little 356 off a low overhead we catch him with a one two he's trying to mash and we catch him again and he's just gonna quit the game and too slow too weak too easy quitality omni man you know, I understand Omni-Man's frame data is actually kind of crazy and it might need a nerf, I'm not gonna lie. Next up, we got Goro and they're actually gonna give us the breast cancer Omni-Man for Goro because he took our skin. That is unacceptable. He's gonna go for the back knuckle thing. I don't even know what to call that. We're gonna catch him with a 1-2 because that move is really unsafe. Catch him with a full Goro combo. Now, that's not really something you should really use Goro for, I'm not gonna lie. Um, you should definitely use Goro for a block pressure like I'm gonna show you later on. Right there, we catch him with a full combo again and that's just gonna take the round. Right there, we're going to go for the 1-2 again into the full 1-2-1 one, one into the Goro. That's just something cool I figured out, so I might as well showcase it in the video. Right there, forward forward 3, that's a low, into the Goro, which makes it a safe, which gives us more pressure to do 1-2 into the plus frames into the back 1-1. One, one. That's a lot of chip damage, even without anything. Um, he, we're just trying to make him make a mistake, and he actually falls for the bait. We somehow don't get the last hit of that little hit, but whatever. He's going to grab us, put us back into the corner. We're trying to get out of it. He's going to go for an unsafe grab again. Go for the Goro grab right there into the 2-1-2 dash, into another 2-1-2, into another 2-1-1-2 grab, and take the game. Next up, we have Darius. Now, one of the best uh, cameos for Omni-Man if it comes to damage. For sure, Darius is up there. Um, I don't recommend him personally because he doesn't bring other than anything than damage. We're just going to go for the little 1-2 into the little knee, into the Darius. Wake up with the meter burn Vultramite stance into the grab. And that's going to give us 461 off of one bar. That is insane. I believe it's one or two bar. That's pretty crazy. We're going to take the game again with the 1-2 full combo. Catch him with the little forward swanton, but he dropped the lantern, so we get hit too. We catch him with a forward 3 into another full combo, into the 2-1-2 dash, 1-2-1-2 dash, 1-2 grab full combo. We don't want to really use Darius, but we're going to try to use Darius again. Try to catch her somehow. Right there, we're going to go for the swanton into the Darius, see if she wants to move. There's nothing she could have really done if she did. She would have gotten hit by another full combo into the 1-2-1 one, one full combo, into the little forward 4-2, four, into the clap, into the brutal. Brutality. What a disgrace to your species. Brutality. Next up, we got Frost, and Frost is actually not that bad with Omni-Man. We catch him with the overhead into the low, into the full combo. The full combo doesn't do as much as it would do without the freeze. The freeze really scales it a lot, but it's the mix-up that makes Frost really good. Um, she's gonna catch us with the forward three into the full combo for him. And he's going to actually go for the setup right there and not go for the grab. And it's a very smart play, but he's going to go and overcommit it. And we're going to get the full combo punish again. 
We're gonna dash into the low profile, into the forward three, into the one two frost, trying to get some crazy things going on. And we're pretty much dead right here because he goes for the fatal blow, except he misses it. And we're gonna take the full round off of his miss he could have just ended it with a regular combo too right there i didn't know what to do so i just went for a straight up grab 212 into the full combo one two finish it off three eight three oh eight not terrible we go for the just standing two into the low that originally is an overhead after so he was blocking for that right there again he, it's originally an overhead after so he's blocking for the overhead we catch him with the low into the full combo into the 212 full combo again into now just extra meter at that point that only did 341 off of like three bars that's kind of crazy that's how much the freezing scales it and right there we're just gonna go for the thunder clap to just finish off the game next up we got motaro now motaro is not the best cameo to pair up with him i mean i think him and sub-zero are the worst cameos to pair up with him but it was a little interesting on what we could have done with motaro right there the pressure with the little three tails is really really good all of his unsafe move become full combos um if they mess up and try to hit you back she's gonna take the first ground off of mostly zoning so i didn't want to really show that it just seems to get really boring we're gonna catch it with the grab and we're gonna go full assault into her we do not want anything to do with that whole full screen game i don't care what anybody says I don't want nothing to do with it. We're going to do the little three tail shots right there. Get him with the overhead. She was supposed to block that and punish us. And we would have gotten a full combo. We catch her with the overhead. Trying to overcome it on our little stance. She did it once before. So she was starting to do it again. And we're going to catch her with the full combo into the round. Cyrax net goes right through us. And we're going to catch her with it too. And again we get that weird animation in the corner. Right there we have the tail shots. We're free to do whatever we want. We don't catch him with the forward three uh, two, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna catch it with the overhead with the back dash, catch it with the anti air one two grab into the full combo, and she's gonna break it very smart. We're gonna drop that. The net is gonna go back at her, and uh, we're just trying to catch her off of anything at this point. She's gonna try to zone us out again. We're gonna jump over that into the one two full combo and two one two into the two one two. We're just gonna use up all our meter, try to squeeze as much damage as we can. We're gonna drop Motaro in two. You know, there's no chance she can walk out of here alone now. And we pretty much take the game. Next up, we got Striker, another cameo that's practically good with everybody. His block pressure game is insane. I mean, look at what we're doing. He can't press a button, and that's Johnny Cage of all people. We catch him with a full combo punish off of there, right there, off of pure block pressure too, might I add. And we haven't even been touched yet. And at 385 off of that, pretty damn good. We're gonna drop the striker uh, grenades again. Those grenades gotta get annoying. We're gonna catch him with the overhead, which is also plus on block. So we would have been safe either or. One, two into the full combo again. Into the full dash combo. 273 and we're gonna take the game again grenade drop and he's gonna try to poke out of there um it's actually my fault that i got even poked i should have poked back right there we poke and the striker grenade into our little press frames into the little grab and i'm telling you it's got to get annoying he jumps in i try to go for the anti-air and i don't get it and he's gonna get a full combo punish not the most optimal combo but it still does 30 percent nothing to joke at we drop the striker missile and we hit kano so kano's gonna be a little disactive for a couple of seconds and we're gonna get him with the grab into the corner into the striker missiles into to the low he couldn't even see so i don't blame him for not trying to block low right there he's gonna go for the kano uh ball try to get him safe on block um right there we're gonna catch him with the grab put him back into the corner and take the game now in the final match we got sub-zero probably the worst cameo for um omni man but i find it really funny to go in the stance and also have the sub-zero thing out we're gonna jump over his spear into the little sub into the whole combo for the back one one and let's see how much damage this does so 350, it did literally like 1% more um, than it was supposed to do with just the 1 2 startup. And we had to go into a whole 1 2 into the back 1 1 startup. We're going to catch him with the grab and a 110 easy damage. He's going to catch us with the forward 3 2 into the full combo. Now, another thing with Sub-Zero is you really don't need any of the tools Sub-Zero actually provides you. The damage is less. The um, zoning uh, capability that the opponent has on Omni-Man is very limited to begin with. So, Sub-Zero literally just does everything Omni-Man does and it doesn't really complement Omni-Man even higher. Or no, nor does it make him better in the fields that he's good at. We catch him with a 2-2 two, two into the sub, into the back one, into the full combo. And let's see how much this one does. We started this one off with a 2-2 two, two instead of a 1-2. And... Right there, we spend two bars and get about 11% more. So, you know, it's not, not that big of a difference. But we catch him with a 1-2 into the full brutality. What a disgrace to your species. Brutality. Oh, 
Omni-Man wins. Anyways, that's gonna be it for today. If you wanna see me master all 15 cameos with General Shao, I'll put that video up right here. And if you wanna see the best cameo for Omni-Man, I'll put that video up on the screen as well. And if you like what you're seeing, like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps me grow in more ways than one.